So at Puget Systems, we've gotten quite a few questions on how to properly dust out your computer. And today I'm going to give you a short video on how to do that and also give you a couple of tips on the way. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is tools required. You may need a screwdriver to open your side panel, so there's that. And also a can of compressed air to uh, actually do the dusting. So uh, first thing I like to do is take out the fan filters. Uh, on the Fractal R4, there's two of them. One for the power supply, and that's located on the bottom of the case. And there's also one on the front of the case behind here. And you do that by pressing on this latch here. That will release the assembly, and then from there you simply pull the filter upwards. Let me just get that out of here. All right. So now that we have the filters out, just uh, give them a blast of air. We haven't. This computer isn't very dusty, as you can see, but <laughs> uh, the the idea is still the same. Now we'll just set those to the side. Um, actually, before I do that, let's show you how to dust these fans. Now, one tip I am going to give you is you should uh, hold your fans steady. You don't want them to spin freely, otherwise you risk prematurely wearing down your bearings. So, go ahead and do that, and give them a couple short blasts of air until you feel like the dust is uh, knocked off of them. Now moving to the inside of the case, um, where you want to focus is heat sinks. Anywhere you see a heat sink is definitely where you want to um, clean out the most, because that's where... Uh, you'll end up getting overheating issues from lack of computer maintenance. Uh, so, we'll just do the chipset, the uh, heat sinks around the um, VRMs and things like that. Uh, now with the CPU, uh, the same thing goes with the fans. You want to hold them in place and focus on the fins. Now, uh, also the GPU, we'll go ahead and hold the fan steady while we dislodge any dust. And also from where it exhausts as well. Okay, now with uh, the power supply or any other fan that's difficult to reach, what you can do is use a zip tie or any other plastic object that's uh, thin enough to get in there and keep the fan from spinning freely. Uh, definitely do not recommend using metal. Power supplies are good at keeping a charge even when they're disconnected from power, so you do run the risk of getting electrocuted if you use something metal. So, like I said, definitely don't use that. And you might be tempted to use a vacuum cleaner to clean out your components, but vacuum cleaners are pretty good at uh, generating static electricity, so you don't want to use a vacuum to clean your components themselves. Um, you can use them for dust filters and things like that where it doesn't really matter or they're not conductive at all. Um, but yeah, a uh, couple broad strokes are good. Just keep on dusting until you feel like your system is clean. Um, we're going to keep on cleaning this one, but now you kind of have an idea of how to clean out your system, what to do, and what not to do. So, thanks.